What's up everybody? Welcome back to Charleston Car Videos. Today we're going out looking for a Lincoln Navigator. That's right. So somebody called me up a couple days ago said, Chad, see if you can find a older Navigator. Basically my buddy is looking for one. He doesn't have to have it running. He needs interior stuff for his Navigator. Basically he bought a Navigator that's got a good engine in it, but the interior is all wasted. I think it was a flood car or something like that. And he's looking to swap out stuff. And hey, we're looking for one. So anyways, stay with us while we go through this area out here trying to find this Navigator. All right, everybody, we're gonna get started looking for the Navigator. I mean, I just walked out of the dealership a moment ago. He gave me the key to it right here. And we're gonna kinda check around on this perimeter back here and see if we can find one. Don't see one yet. He says it's black in color. Right now I see a Chevy SS right over there. That's not a Lincoln Navigator. I see a GMC Yukon right there. That's not a Navigator. If y'all see something today in the video that you would be interested in, let me know. Um, most of the vehicles back here are kind of like uh, fixer-uppers, you know. Here's an Escalade. That's not a Navigator, but definitely the size of a Navigator, right? Those Escalades, good lord. thing is huge. Let's make our way through here. X3 GMC. Looks like a Tahoe, Commander, Red Challenger. Let's see, where's this Navigator at? Cadillac, Range Rover. Hopefully there's no snakes back here. It's pretty muddy, we've had a lot of rain lately. Looks like a Ford Dually sitting back there, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a Dually. Honda Accord? No. Hyundai Genesis. Don't they look very similar, the Accords and the Genesis? I mean, come on, guys. Tell me if that doesn't look like a Honda Accord taillight. Just saying, you know? I always thought Hyundai was one of those, uh, you know, car brands that want to look like. I want to look like a Honda. Jaguar? Okay, is this? Nope, that's not it. That's a GMC Yukon Denali XL. Um, yeah, there you go. Put a tag on the back. What do we got going on back here? Ford old school F-150. Right there. Who remembers having one of these back in the day? Cop car or Impala. Ooh, look at that. F-350 Super Duty Diesel. Right there, check that thing out. Good gracious, man. Is that what a Super Duty diesel looked like back in the day? Man, and it's a dually. Check it out. Whoa, Power Stroke Diesel V8. Another Yukon. Oh, man. I tell you, them things were nice back in the day, these Yukons. There's a bunch of these GMC Yukons back here. Right now, I am not seeing any navigators back here. BMW with a funky looking black and white paint scheme. I don't know about that. I think that needs to come off. <laughs> Let's go look back there. I think that's probably where it's at. Hold on. Nope, that's uh, another Yukon. Good gracious, Yukons are freaking everywhere back here. It's like a... Hold on, that's cool. Pontiac Firebird, Trans Am actually. About to say Firebird, it's got a Trans Am logo on there. Maybe we'll do a video on that one day. Looks like a Corvette that needs a front end. Nissan Maxima. Let's keep looking guys. We gotta find this navigator. Keep out. Luckily, I got the gold card to get in back here. What's over there? Wow, there's more. 
Okay, it's got to be back here somewhere. Let's go take a look and see. Chrysler 300, Porsche, Buick, Honda, Chevy, another Jeep, Nissan Altima. Hmm. So far, we're not having a whole lot of luck. He says it's Navigator. You know, the guy that owns the place is super busy in there. I didn't feel like saying, hey, yo, where's it at? He just said it's in the back. So anyways, let's keep looking. Looks like a cool little Volkswagen sitting back there. Anyways, let's see what we can do about finding this thing. There is the Jeep that we've wanted to try to sell. This Jeep back here, super cool. I mean, take a look at it. Y'all seen the video on the channel. I mean, that thing's pretty unique. And it's still ready if you're ready to buy it, okay? So I'm just letting y'all know, a little update, the Jeep is still ready. And that Jeep, as y'all saw, is very custom. Anyways, let's keep looking. I think we found her. Is that it? What is that? Is that a navigator? Ah, no. Cadillac. Look at that thing, man. That's like, that's your Escalade, man. That's a cool front end on the Escalade. A lot of people absolutely loved the Cadillac Escalade front end. I'm finding tons of Cadillacs and GMCs and Yukons back here. Look at that thing. It actually seems to be in pretty good shape, man. The body on that Escalade doesn't look too bad, does it? Oh, there's a Dodge. It's definitely at home sitting back here, isn't it? That Dodge truck loves sitting back here. That Ford F-350 does too, though. Man, we've seen a couple Ford F-150s back here today. You know? Man. I mean, the, the evolution of the Ford F-350 truck, man. I mean, look at it. You're going back from the 80s and the 90s. You know, still even today, though, your Ford trucks, you can see. I mean, you can still see it there from your new ones to your old ones. Anyways, we've, we've been checking the perimeter back here. Tons of vehicles, tons of stuff, for sure. But I don't see the Navigator out here. All right, so the boss man walked back here. He said, Chad, you're in the wrong area. He's like, go over there by that truck with the tires. He's, it's sitting right there. I'm like, what? Totally walked right past it earlier. I didn't think to walk back here, but yeah. There's our navigator. All right. There it is. Well, if you need a navigator, let's see how the interior is on it. Because that's what this guy's basically looking for. He wants a navigator. He's got a good interior. Body's not too bad on it, though. All right, let's go see. Believe it or not, man, people love Lincoln Navigators. All right. You definitely want to watch out for snakes and stuff like that, though. They love it in these areas where it's moist and wet. All right, man, here's the interior. Steering wheel. Pretty good shape. I know he's really interested in the seats. I mean, they just look like they need a good cleaning. I don't see any rips on the leather or anything like that. You know, a little bit of mold or something on the seat right there, but it's got the red piping. One thing good about black is it matches up with about any body style color that you get, you know. Dash is in great shape in it. Headliner looks good. It's got a sunroof. Got that rear DVD player back there. Back seats don't look too bad. Armrests in good shape. Passenger seat looks great. Definitely has got some mold up on the tops right there. I mean, when vehicles just sit like this, it's not good. You know, you don't want them sitting. Definitely doesn't have any power. But anyways, there's a navigator. There's your back seats. 
somebody would need to rescue this car quickly. I mean, too much more longer. I don't know. The mold's getting to it, though. I don't even want to hang out in here too long with all that mold. But, I mean, look at this newspaper article, guys. I mean, we're going back. Wow. Now, the newspaper looks extremely old. But, because <laughs> it's faded and turned yellow. But, not too old, because we're looking at an ad here. Well, hold on. This is Sunday, April 16th. 2017 post and courier deep down you know you want to you know you want to get you a 2017 Ford Mustang GT fastback for 31 495 comes with a 5.0 435 horsepower V8 <laughs> Jones Ford anniversary sale fifth Wow and there's the prices of vehicles back in 2017. All right, guys, there's the navigator. All right, dude, you've seen it now. Interior's in pretty good shape. Not too bad. It needs a really good cleaning. Door panels are in good shape, though. Um, I mean, again, like I said, it probably really needs a good cleaning, shampoo, and those seats and all. But I think you're going to have a really nice interior inside of this navigator here. You know, basically the next step is coming over here and seeing how much you can get it for. This is definitely going to be one you're going to want to tow out of here. All right, everybody, if you're looking for something different, something unique, maybe you need a parts vehicle for interior or whatever, hit me up. You know, I'm in the car business every day of the week. I'm always on all kinds of different car lots. And uh, one thing's for sure, if I see something, I'll try to find it for you. Like this guy's looking for interior for a navigator, just found one. So hit me up, let me know what you're looking for, and uh, hey, if I can find something. The good thing about buying vehicles down south is you don't have to worry about rust and all that as much. You know, cars just don't rust out as much down south. You know, you go up by north and buy a car, they seem to have uh, rust issues a lot more. Now, we do get flood cars from time to time here in the south, you know, from hurricanes and different things like that. But if you can get a southern vehicle, that's always a nice thing. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. I'm Chad, and I'm signing out. Oh, boy, what's he going to do? <laughs> what's he going to do? You going to... Oh, 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 oh. Boy, you think you're real funny, don't you? Oh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you today.